Next up, we have a very cool tactic that uh, I will get into in a little bit here. Uh, but our man Brian Slivka, who uh, I, I can't, I'm not even biased in this video because I just love, uh, or I'm biased. I love Brian. Uh, yeah. He shot a video and he took a blog that uh, we helped him produce and he turned it into a video for his fans. Let's roll the tape. The end is here. <laughs> and unless you've been living under a rock, you're probably keenly aware that the final episode of Game of Thrones happens this Sunday. Now, because I sell real estate, I have secured exclusive listings in Westeros. I've got the three best castles in Westeros, and I want you to have private access to those three listings. So click through, see which one might be a great fit for you, because when you play the game of homes, you sell or you buy, there is no middle ground. Woof. I like it. He got that, he got that, uh, that, that FM late night radio <laughs> yeah. DJ at the end. I like that. So that obviously has a lot of personality, short little mm -hmm. clip. It's not on YouTube. He probably just put it on Facebook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what I loved about that, and, and, and Brian's a client, and we built the Game of Thrones campaign for him. But the reason I bring that up is there's two things that hold people back, Jimmy, from doing videos. Mm -hmm. Number one, they don't have any good ideas. Yeah. Like, obviously, you could do a video when you get a listing, but like, not everybody's clever enough to come up with the wine mm -hmm. analysis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, not everybody's Bob Tompkins yeah. and gonna go do a freaking music video, right? So, what I've noticed is that. A lot of real estate agents, they don't have any ideas. And then the other people, they tell us they don't have any time, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't have the time to do videos and I don't know what my video should be. So wh what I love about what we do at Curator, because, uh, you know, Amit's a client and Brian's a client, because we create their marketing every single month, mm -hmm. right? Because we're creating his marketing every week. Yeah. He doesn't have to come up with an idea for a video. What he's doing that I hope a lot of our other clients start doing, because they watch too, he's taking our marketing article, our email, our tweet, our LinkedIn, our like we do all that for him. So all he's got to do is hit the camera and say, hey, here's what this week's about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So because we do the heavy lifting of creating the marketing, yeah it gives him more time to do videos like that. And because we do the hard work of coming up with the idea and the angle, he doesn't have to do that either. So the, the, but the takeaway for everybody would be anytime you publish written content, you can do a video to promote it. Yeah. So it doesn't always have to be a YouTube video. It doesn't have to always be a full blown thing. It's what I call a naked burrito. Mm -hmm. It's just grab the camera and do the video. So if you are executing a marketing plan every single week and every single month, adding videos becomes a lot easier yeah. because you just make videos about what you've been marketing recently. Think about the one we did recently, Jimmy. We did one that was see the difference between four hundred, six hundred, and eight hundred thousand dollar listings. Mm -hmm. That was a written article that had IDX, right? Why wouldn't you do a quick screen grab and say, hey, guys, I'm checking out the difference between a six hundred and eight hundred thousand dollar home. You're going to be blown away. Mm -hmm. And so you can complement the written form with some of these lightweight social videos. Anyway, if you guys want us, uh, me and him, to do your marketing like we do Brian's marketing, mm -hmm. go to curator.com slash WC and you can learn more or click on our marketing plan at the top and you can learn more about how we can help you.